Hi guys, insects are the largest and the most diverse type of animals on Earth. 1.5 million of different kinds of insects inhabit our planet. They may be found in all environments. They reside on the ground, in the sky and water. Often insects get mixed up in mortal combats and even wars, pretty much like humans do. Insects are very sophisticated killers and it's always fascinating watching them fight. That's why you are now about to see 5 epic insect battles of all times. Mantis vs Calapendra When you look at Mantis, you kinda think that it's from outer space, or a creature from a horror film. Most Mantis have elongated bodies that are very different from other arthropods. It's got very flexible triangular head that almost spins on its axis, allowing spotting approaching enemy even from behind. Some mantis grow up to 17 centimeters long. When mantis encounter their enemies, they first try to scare their opponent. They rise in a frightening pose, spreading their wings like a kind of hand fat. They expose their grasping legs, pulling up bottoms of their bellies. Such pose usually accompanied by a scary, organic sound. If opponent seems bigger and stronger, Mantis prefers to fly away. But when it feels its dominance or chances seem equal, it often wins the battle. Scalopendra There are about 600 types of these predators. They are classified as centipedes and the biggest specimen can be up to 30 centimeters long. Scalopendra has one significant nuisance. When disturbed, these animals can cause inflammatory skin diseases. Scalopendra is a night predator, and it doesn't feel comfortable in open spaces in broad daylight. Most Scalopendra are great runners, but there is also a giant type that runs significantly faster than others of its kind do. They mostly hunt for small invertebrates underground, larvae, earthworms and beetles, but Scalopendra gigantea can catch and kill a small reptile. A frog, for example, a mouse, bird, or even a small snake. Okay, without further ado, let the battle commence. Opponents converge and both wait for a better moment to strike. And the mantis strikes first. We're witnessing the fierce, mean battle. Chances seem equal, but one wrong move and the mantis is defeated. Scalopendra can now enjoy a pleasant dinner. Hornet vs Scorpion There are 20 types of hornets known to man. The majority, 12 types, live in the South Asia. The biggest kind is the Asian giant hornet. It can be almost 6 centimeters long. Fully grown hornets mostly feed on insects. They settle near bee houses and can do a lot of damage killing honeybees with their sting or with their jaws. Their big and poisonous stinger allows them attacking almost any insect in their habitat. Grasshoppers, wasps and locusts do not have a chance against these merciless killers. The only ones who can confront these flying monsters are the Asian bees. That is if they strike collectively. They surround the hornet, trapping it in a kind of bee sphere. The vibration inside the sphere creates high temperature that could be almost 50 degrees. It's that heat that kills the hornet. Scorpions are one of the most ancient arachnids known to man. It can be found in many completely different parts of our planet. There are many types of scorpions. Biologists discovered at least 1,750 kinds, but only 50 of them are poisonous and dangerous to man. Their body length varies from 1.5 to 20 centimeters. They can be of almost any color. They're green, brown, and even black scorpions. Let's take a look at the fight between the hornet and a small scorpion. And the hornet strikes first. It doesn't seem like the scorpion is ready to fight at all, but it has no choice. It 
tries to hit the horn, but there's no much luck there. After a while, Scorpion starts using its claws, but it's all useless. Hornet is set to win the fight. A few moments later, the Scorpion is defeated. Well, that was just a small Scorpion. In the upcoming episode, you will see the Hornet fighting against the Emperor Scorpion. Make sure you don't miss that. Hornet vs. Tarantula Tarantulas are venomous and hairy. They belong to the family of spiders. Tarantula's size varies from 2.5 up to 10 centimeters. They can swing their legs as far as 30 centimeters. Females are always bigger, and their weight can reach up to 90 grams. They have large, deadly, 1 centimeter long fangs. During their life cycle, tarantulas change their natural chitinous armor that covers almost the entire body of the spider. They feed on small insects and even amphibians. Sometimes they hunt frogs. Okay, let's take a look at the merciless fight between the hornet and the tarantula they call King Baboon Spider. Unlike in the previous video, this hornet doesn't seem that active. It's like he's not even trying to protect himself against the spider. And although, if there was more space to operate, we might have seen a whole different kind of battle. The spider bites the hornet, dealing a lot of damage. The cold-blooded beast slowly finishes his prey. Spider vs. Scorpion When spiders and scorpions collide, the latter usually wins because of its heavy armor. Spiders just can't seem to bite through scorpions' protective layer. Scorpion in its turn easily pierces spider with its deadly tail. But in this case, the spider happens to be a lot larger, and the situation changes drastically. Take a look at this unfortunate scorpion and his massive opponent. This guy shouldn't have come where is no wanted. Scorpion vs. Sun Spider As you already know, if a scorpion and a spider are the same size, then the scorpion would always win. But there's one exception, the Sun Spider. Those spiders go by many names. Camel Spider is just one of them. Some of them are 7 centimeters long. Its cephalothorax, which is his body and head collectively, has a dismembered structure. It's got two bulging eyes. They have powerful jaws and ten legs. Sun spiders are typical predators and have abnormal voracity. Despite the fact that these spiders are not venomous, they can attack and kill larger animals. They mostly feed on insects. Their usual diet are centipedes, termites, scorpions and spiders as well as small rodents. The larger specimen also hunt lizards and small birds. When up against each other, Sun Spider does a very slimy trick. It pretends to run away, making Scorpion chase it, but the chase doesn't last long. The Sun Spider turns around swiftly and strikes the Scorpion before it has a chance to bounce off. Spider hits the deadliest part, Scorpion's tail. Now the scorpion's disarmed and seems to be no longer dangerous. But it isn't over just yet. The scorpion tries to shake off the spider and release his tail from the spider's grab. But it's all useless. Spider holds his prey for a few minutes. Then, when scorpion loses all his power, the spider begins to devour his inattentive opponent. Do you guys want to know about the Black Widow's fighting technique? Well, then don't miss upcoming episodes, press the like button and subscribe. And that's all for now, folks. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.